it's Bob McCraney with This Month in Realty, and today I'm super happy to have back Andrew Hersey. Now, Andrew is with Star One Realtors, serves the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Andrew, how's the market in Cincinnati this month? Um, a little bit slow, um, which we kind of expect coming off of the holidays. Uh, we've seen a few listings come up, uh, but we're still down our uh, four core counties, uh, Butler, Hamilton, Butler, Claremont, and Warren counties. We only have 785 active listings right now. Um, that's not a lot. That's not as low as it was last March, um, but it's as low as it's been since last March. So um, not ideal. Um, we did not see a lot of pendings happen over the holidays, mm -hmm. which again, isn't surprising, but um, it, I, I, I foresee uh, a good amount of listings coming up in the next month or so. Um, I have myself uh, put one on the market today, got one coming on the market next week. I had a commercial listing on the market yesterday, and I've got two planned out for February. So um, they're coming. It's just going to be, I, again, like last year, I think a little slow rolling and a lot of competition. Okay. So how did your last year end up for you? I actually know the um, answer. Yeah. So um, it, not as good as 2020, but I still had a fantastic year. Um, did over $11 million in, uh, in, uh, in sales and uh, 33 units. Um, so Excellent. overall, I mean, at the end of the day, 2020 was a weird year. 2021 was even more weird. Um, and, and I think 2021 was harder on buyers than 2020 without a doubt. Um, and, and there were a lot of people that with buyer fatigue gave up on the market. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll come back this year. Maybe we'll come back next year. Um, but I, I saw a lot of that happen last year unfortunately uh but buyers have to do what they have to do um you can only take so much loss um on on writing offers and and getting your hopes up and then losing so it was it was a rough year for a lot of buyers but um 33 transactions is is still amazing okay so what's your forecast what's your crystal ball say for 2022 i wish i had good news for buyers but i don't think there's going to be much um, the only thing I could see helping is interest rates uh, could go up. They have already started to creep up a little bit uh, on Monday uh, in our area. They were uh, our, my, my lender that I talked to, and it was Tuesday, uh, said they were creeping up to three and a quarter, ooh, um, three and a quarter, three and a half, which is amazing. Um, yeah. But they're, they're, the days of the twos, uh, I think, are gone. Uh, so that's the only relief I could really see for, um, for buyers possibly. There's still going to be a ton of competition. You still have a ton of people looking to buy houses. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got the people that had buyer fatigue last year, took a break, and we'll be getting back into it this year. Um, so listings will be uh, important. Uh, we're going to need to get as many listings as we can. The problem is those people with listings need somewhere to go. Yeah. Um, and and that's, you know, I've got five or six that will be hitting the market once we find them a house. So um, that's a big holdup, but... Uh, we're working, and I think that it's just going to be a lot of the same as we had last year, honestly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the, I, the, most of the economic forecasts I'm seeing are is basically take 2021 and put it on a copy machine, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's trending out the same way. So, Andrew, how would somebody contact you? Um, my cell phone number is 513-835-5506, and my email address is ahersey at star1.com. But the best way to reach me would be my cell phone, which is 513-835-5506. Okay, and I'm going to put all your digits below. See you next month? Absolutely. Okay, tune in next month to hear more from Andrew and other real estate experts around the United States and Canada. Take care.